is now a story you'll see only on 13. A 70 year old man that was robbed and beaten with his own cane. Well, he's talking to us about the crime. These are always tough to yeah. see, and it happened on Tidwell and Messi in East Houston outside of a cell phone store. That crime was caught on camera with the two suspects running after, after the assault. ABC 13's Daniel Hurtado sat down with the victim who talked about those terrifying moments. A 70 year old man minding his own business on his way to the store when two men robbed him in the middle of the afternoon. We're told these two criminals grabbed a hold of his cane and used it repeatedly to beat him. It's not very sad. Uh, I, got, I got a lot of uh, medical problems, you know. 70 year old well, Thomas Shelby is living life in pain these back. days. I got a bad back, you know. Yeah. Are you okay though? Do you need to take a break? Do you need water? No, I'm good. 11 days ago. They said, man, you owe us $25. I said, man, I have never seen neither one of you before in my life. Shelby yeah. was robbed and beat repeatedly by two men in broad daylight who police say are still out there. Well, uh, he's talking to me. The other guy come around, the security guard hit me, knocked me down, and they start kicking me in. And, and, and stop him in the two criminals seen on video ripping the victim's cane out of his hand and then using it to hurt him. They kept kicking me and things, so I see my cane. I gave my cane to try to, you know, wire them out with it. And uh, well, the bottom part of my cane, the rubber part come out. That's when they get the cane. Leaving Shelby a bloody mess in unimaginable pain. Uh, Nearly two weeks later, his eye is bruised and he's not able to see clearly out of it. When I was coming up, we had respect for our elders, you know, and youngsters now don't seem like they don't have no respect or concern for nothing but taking advantage of folks. He I, hopes these two suspects are caught and held responsible for their actions so they don't do this to anyone else. As for Shelby, he's taking his recovery one step at a time. Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.